Welcome back guys. Today we're looking at MP Materials which just reported its earnings and it's up around 0.07%. So not what people were really expecting. It was a 1 cent beat on its EPS. I believe it was 8 cents and expected was 7 cents. So it did dip today around 6.92% and the whole SPAC market all growth stocks basically plummeted 7%. So it's nothing too concerning, but it was a bit of a tense moment as they were reporting earnings. And we saw stocks like Fastly yesterday go down 27% after earnings. So people got a bit scared that companies who are not beating earnings are getting crushed. Um, I'm pretty sure Beyond Meat also reported its earnings and it's down around 7%. So people are not beating their expectations, you're getting crushed. And even if you're beating your expectations, you're getting crushed. Uh, have a look at Apple. It also beat its earnings and it got crushed. So um, the key takeaway from MP Materials is that the company is doing good. I'm pretty sure it reported 16 million in a net income compared to 1 million in net income last year. So the growth is insane. And as the EV market gets bigger and as the demand for rare earth materials increases, um, I think my target for MP materials is above the $50 range by the end of the year. So there, there is some big upside on MP materials. And as you can see, it was around $50 before all this SPAC crash. And they had a nice earnings actually, but um, they have fallen. And I can see like a bit of a bullish wedge forming over here. And we could see a breakout soon. The support I see right now is this 27 level, so that will be key to watch. Um, I do expect a recovery in all these growth names in the following week and maybe also on Friday, so that might favor MP Materials to have a good breakout towards the upside towards $40. But uh, we really saw some volume and we saw some big selling happening uh, in this big SPAC crash. and. Um, luckily, MP Materials is holding up above this 30 line. It did go down a bit today, but we'll have to see about its earnings. So just to let you know, in the short term, the earnings don't matter to investors. Uh, people are just playing around with the technicals right now. But in the long run, these earnings were pretty good, in my opinion, to sum it up. However, in the short term, it's all market based. If the market goes down, you're going to see MP materials go to, go down. If the Russell 2000 goes up, um, you'll see some upside um, on MP materials. And the next big thing is the FOMO. So if MP materials, the sentiment gets a bit better, the SPAC sentiment, the overall growth story, IPO sentiment gets better and MP materials starts to break above, it could reach $50 pretty soon as um, I'm seeing demand for uh, copper rise and a lot of um, minerals and materials basically rise. And MP Materials is pretty small still. Uh, let's look at its market cap now. Uh, okay, MP Materials. Um, so, okay, let's leave that alone. Uh, I think this video is getting pretty long and the market cap is 5 billion uh, according to trading views. So, uh, that's your answer there and this could definitely be great in the future the technicals say to sell uh, i don't buy it. i think it's a strong buy and that'll be it for this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time